Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. So today is really exciting only because this is a very spontaneous video idea that I've literally just had because basically I was watching Ricky Gervais Golden Globes 2020. Now while I was reacting to it I just didn't really know what like half of it meant and I was like oh my god this is an issue because I hate like filming reaction videos and then having nothing to say about it and not really knowing what I'm talking about because you know it's just just not that fun so basically I thought oh right who will I know that like will understand what this means so I was like oh, okay I can ring my dad but I was like but then I don't want to film a reaction video where like the opinions that I'm saying aren't my own like I want to be able to understand it myself but then I was like haha this is a new way to get my dad to record a YouTube video with me because my dad just says no every single time to recording YouTube videos with me and well, I mean, now we're like, we're currently living in two different houses, so he couldn't even if he said yeah. But I was like, if I just ring him on normal phone call, I can like test him of his knowledge because he's quite like a knowledgeable man and he knows a lot. And I thought, I feel like he'll know a lot about what Ricky is saying, like the kind of references he's making, if like my dad will understand. And I was like, as a test to see if my dad truly has a broad knowledge, like he says he does, I will ring him, but secretly. If I tell him that I am recording, Recording, then he won't he won't do it he'll just put the phone down so I'm thinking I'm gonna like ring him on like phone call and I'm just gonna like record and I'm gonna pause it when I want to pause it and I'm gonna be like dad what does that mean and he's gonna like explain it to you all I mean obviously it sounds really bad that I'm like secretly recording my dad but basically it's not like that because I will afterwards tell him I've recorded it and be like well I'm posting it to YouTube is that okay and I'm sure he'll say yeah I really hope he does because I have no other YouTube like I have no other ideas for what I'm going to record today. But yeah, let's just swing on into it, test my dad's knowledge without him knowing. But yeah, let's get on with the video. Right, so I'm going to pretend ring him now. I mean, hopefully he responds, so I feel like I haven't really combated the issue that he might not respond. But I feel like I'll just keep ringing until he responds. <laughs> Basically, I know he's not busy today, so I think it should be fine. So I'm just going to like ring him now and hope that he responds. Okay, so here it goes. Hello? Hello, George, all right? All right, are you busy? Uh, yeah, what's wrong? Basically, I just need your help with something. Yeah, what? Basically, so I, you know how I told you I was filming YouTube videos today? Yeah. So I was trying to film one earlier of Ricky Gervais, you know, his Golden Globes thing that he did. Cool. Who? Do you know Ricky Gervais? Yeah, the comedian, yeah? Yeah, you know the Golden Globes, like, speech that he did? Yeah. Yeah, basically, I was trying to react to that, but I feel like it's got, like, old man references in it that I don't understand. Old man reference? I thought that was up to date. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's got references in it that I feel like I don't understand. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. references from, like, about people who are old that I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By like names, like the, like celebrity names that I don't know who they are, you know? Okay. 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 Cool. So basically, is uh, can I like play it in the background and you like just and I'm gonna pause it when I don't understand and you can just like tell me what the reference means. Oh well, yeah, if I can hear it, yeah. Yeah, if you can hear it. Okay. Yeah. Is that... right, okay. <sighs> Give me a second. Thank you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. Um, <laughs> NBC clearly don't care either, fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And they've no idea. Do I, do I 
know Kevin Hart? Well, obviously I know who Kevin Hart is, Dad. Yeah, do you know why he got banned from the Oscars? Uh, no. Yeah, I think he was, um, I think he was uh, talking to his kid or someone telling jokes about his kid. And he was going to bash him over the head with a dollhouse or something like that. What? He... What, his own kid? Yeah, if he was gay, he was going to say, like, <laughs> you're not allowed to play with dollhouses. If <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah, there's a few, um, racist jokes. Oh. Racist. And they banned him completely? Uh, um, what do you call it? Homophobic jokes, I think they called it, yeah. Oh, okay. The Os- Oscars. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, uh, that's what happened to him. That's what, that's what he got took off the Oscars. Oh, shit. Yeah, a bit annoying, but, you know. Offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And... <laughs> They've no idea what Twitter is, so I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh funny, at your expense, mm-hmm. shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon. <laughs> I think it's there's you. No sequel. So yeah, remember that. Um, right. Tell me, that's literally not how you would joke if you went to the Oscars, though. <laughs> if you went to the Golden Globes, this would be you up on the stage. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Yes, it would. You'd be, you'd be a Ricky Gervais. Probably worse, though. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very lovely people, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't come with you. I'd be sat in the audience like, I'm not doing it with you. <laughs> uh, carry on. Oh, but you all look lovely, all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the licence plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. All right, no, this one. The number plate was made by Felicity Huffman. What does that mean? <laughs> Well, that was that woman who paid for her daughter to get into college. Okay. Uh, I think she done a, I think she done a month in jail or something. Well, I don't know her that long. What? Well, that's illegal to pay for your kids to get into college? No, she because uh, her, her child wasn't good enough to get into a college. <gasps> well, I think they paid like the sports people in the colleges. Yeah. Yeah. To say that it was good at something like rowing or running or t- tennis, so they was able to get into the college. You know, like scholarshipy type things. Yeah. Yeah, like that. But her, her kids shouldn't have got into those colleges. So she paid. No, she didn't. Yeah. yeah, she paid for, like, scholarships and stuff. I mean, can you say you wouldn't do the same, though? Um, <laughs> I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that, no. OK. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would if you could, wouldn't you? Yeah, you I would. Do, uh, I know you're depriving someone else. It deserves it, but... Yeah, but, like, I mean, anything for family, I guess. Yeah, you would, probably, yeah, if you could get away with it. Mm-hmm. But she done some time in jail, and I think in their jails, they make licence plates, don't they? Like, Mel Sachs in licence uh, plates. So it's, like, a reference to that, like, she's in jail. Yeah. And, obviously, <laughs> the number plate on the car was made by her. <laughs> it's a good joke. Yeah, it is. See? Yeah, I love that. Clearly, Ricky's done his research. So, no... Shush. It's her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Baby Yoda. Uh, Oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, I love you, man. Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. Ronan Farrow? I don't know who Ronan Farrow is. <laughs> he didn't just say that in front of that lot, did he? I don't know, who wrote, I don't know who that, what that means. Ronan Farrow, um, I think you're the son of Mia. Yeah? Mm-hmm. There was a woman back in the day, like, real good looking, called Mia. Oh, yeah? Mia Farrow. Yeah, and her son, I think he does right, I think he got a Pulitzer or something. All that right. Pulitzer, Pulitzer. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, what it was, um, I don't think it was Epstein, I think it was Weinstein. Yeah? Mm-hmm. He, did, he did all the deep digging into Weinstein and all that, um, me too stuff in, in America yeah yeah and I think he, he wrote it in a magazine and you're, I think I think it's called a Pulitzer 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 yeah mhm yeah and he so they're all frightened that he's 
chasing them, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, he pretty much outed Weinstein. Oh. Well, he pretty much outed him as being a well, absolute scumbag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. So nice. now he's saying that he's coming after that lot now. <laughs> no. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, <laughs> surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, oh my Two God. Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, <laughs> fifth time. So, we were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. <laughs> Maybe next year. Let's, mm -hmm. let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win. Everything. Good night. <laughs> but no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself. Hmm? He got himself a little uh, advertisement in there for himself. Yeah, exactly. See, that's what I would do. If I had a show, I'd be like, guys, come on, you can watch Afterlife, every single series. You used to watch that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I love it. It's one of my favourite shows. Well, really watched it. Yeah, it's great. The thing is, everyone thinks it's, like, deep and depressing because it's about a man who, like, is really depressed because his wife died of cancer, but he makes it hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even watch it. I should watch it. Like, he makes taboo topics funny, and I enjoy that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, do watch it. No, I'll come home and I'll make you. No, I can spare the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a busy man. A man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer and it's still more fun than this, okay? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. <laughs> Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! Right, he said he didn't kill himself just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> don't know what that means either. Jeffrey Epstein, that's, um, that's a guy there as well in Pedo Island, in, yeah? Oh. James or somewhere, over in America. Yeah? yeah? That's what Prince Andrew and all that was wrapped up in. Okay. All, sex, all those sex rings with the young girls. Yeah. Well, that's what that was, Epstein. And he, he, they, locked, they locked him up. Uh huh. Yeah. And then he got found strangled in the morning. Yeah. yeah. And they called it a suicide. But and it, they looked into it. But it wasn't a suicide. All the cameras were switched off. The two guards was asleep. No. And obviously nobody supposedly went to the, his cell, so they called it a suicide, yeah. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> But I don't you care. You had to make your own way here and your own plane, didn't you? Right. But m seriously, most films are awful. He said you had to make your, your own way here on your own plane. <laughs> the Little <Moon> Express. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, See, all these little jokes, I would not even have a clue. <laughs> he, had a he, got, he had a big jet plane. Yeah. yeah. And he used this what he used to fly people out to his island on. Yeah. I think even Trump got on it once. I think he, uh, he got he had a, but he got a lift somewhere. He didn't go to the island. Uh huh. Yeah. So even Trump's been accused of being a bit, uh, a bit dodgy. Yeah. Being on his plane, it was called the Lolita Express. Uh huh. And Lolita was like soft, soft porn films back in the early days. Okay. So this plane was nicknamed after like porn. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's why his plane was called the Lolita Express. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> You gotta get your own plane. So he's accusing them all of getting on that plane. Oh. <laughs> Go to Peter Farley then. Oh, nice. Lovely. <laughs> Love that. Love that for all of them. Yeah, that's a bit naughty, that was. Good, but naughty. <laughs> Good, but a bit savage. Come on. Yeah, I wish I was giving that speech. <laughs> Lazy. Remakes. Sequels. I've heard a rumour 
that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know, and the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, <laughs> really. Have we, got a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. No point. We know we'd win that. Um, Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? It's tiny. Right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, that, well, <laughs> my fact, my, it was great. Uh, long, but amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long. Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So, <laughs> Is that because he gets like legit like 19-year-old models as his girlfriend? Yeah, there's a latest one in it. Don't you get slagged off a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, apparently, apparently he... Sh Apparently, he's trying to change his image now. He's, he's, apparently, he's come out saying that he's not getting with younger girls anymore. He's going to change his image, get with more 40-year-olds, you know? His last one was 19. Yeah, that's, that's legit younger than me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to say what you talk about, but I don't think he's care about what he talks about, is he? No. No, I don't think he is. He's like... I'm like, how many 19-year-olds have a great personality, Leonardo? Come on, how much do you have in common? I've never looked out, though. Are they models, or are they, like, is he going out with models? I stuff? think they're models, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. It's just looks, then, isn't it? Or they've got rich daddies. I don't know. Well, I don't think he's worried about money, is he? No. No. I think it's the fact that they're pretty and skinny and they might have a few lines that he likes. Do you know what so I mean? As long as they're at the right age, I, I got no problem with them. No, neither do I, but it's still a little bit weird. No, he can do what he likes, and so can they. Okay. The right okay. Yeah. All right, Carol. Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate, you know. <laughs> you're nearly 50, son. Um... um the world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. <laughs> he was also in the movie Cats, but <laughs> no one saw that. Um, and the reviews, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg and licking her own minge. Ew! That's disgusting. <coughs> <coughs> Furball, Furball. She's old school. Um, <laughs> She's old school. That's just wrong. It's the last time, who cares? Mm -hmm. Oh. Apple roared into the... The TV game with a morning show, a superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for. Didn't they put up suicide nets in their buildings so people couldn't kill themselves? What, China? Apple. Oh. They have their phones in all that built in China. Yeah. All their tech in all that, they have built in China. Yeah. yeah. Um, where, they, where China runs, like, sweatshops, like he's talking about, yeah? Uh -huh. They uh, put up, like, suicide nets, like they do in prison, so that people don't chuck themselves out of windows and out of balconies and stuff. No. They kill themselves. But that's the rumour. <laughs> yeah, but why were they killing themselves? Because they were pretty much trapped inside these factories working for them, just suicidal. No way. Yeah, yeah, and that's Apple for you. And you all love their phones, don't you? 
Oh yeah, I'm ho I, that's what I'm. That's what I'm on the phone to you right now with. <laughs> you don't see me with an Apple phone or Apple anything, will you? Well, you have a Samsung one, and I doubt they're any better. Uh, no, I haven't looked it up. I haven't heard a lot. <laughs> so I don't well, okay then. Let's not comment on it, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Let's leave that. Let's leave that one. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right? If you win, right? Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off. Okay? <laughs> so. Hmm? Ricky the Atheist? Ricky the Atheist coming out there. Oh, oh, yeah. Isn't he always like, shall I tell you why I don't believe in God? Isn't it because, like, about the whole thing, there being a bunch of gods and something? Well, you do know, you do know that, uh, you don't know. He's, he, but he says he's an atheist. Mm -hmm. and that's, not, that's a total non-believer that could never be blah 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 mm -hmm. yeah? but you do admit that you don't know yeah? fair enough I do the same thing yeah. though I say I don't know yeah you say you don't know so it's kind of makes you that what's that one in the middle agnostic yeah something like that isn't it mm -hmm. yeah? yeah like you don't know so you ain't sure you try and play defence that you're not allowed to then you gotta like pick a side mm-hmm yeah, you can't be lukewarm in it or something like that. <laughs> when it comes to believing in Jesus, mm -hmm. you either do or you don't. You can't be lukewarm. You do or you don't. There's in the middle. Do you know what I know it's about him though? He really insults like how English insults. Like, do your fucking speech and fuck off. And <laughs> yeah, he's good at it. Mm -hmm. He's very English. I like it because he's very English. It's already three hours long. <laughs> right, let's do the first award. The first award. The first award is for Best Actor in a Television Series, Musical or Comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly, what can I say? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> in a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. Oh, God, that was terrible, Phil. In the meantime, here are Sofia Vergara and Matt Bomer. Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. <laughs> Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats? It's, it's that easy. <laughs> Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. I've got nothing negative to say about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. Aquaman. Aquaman. Kill me. We're nearly done. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, please. Three, it's already three. Right, um, last one, last one. Come on, guys. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. What does that mean? Brilliant. What does that mean? <laughs> I'd film Bird Box. If you open your eyes, you'd kill yourself, wouldn't you? You'd commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, he's, he's saying, like, all those in the crowd. Uh huh. Yeah, and all of Hollywood. Yeah, it was ignoring what Weinstein was saying by closing their eyes, or they get sacked, or. No. Yeah, they get cancelled, or they wouldn't get a job. That's what he's saying, yeah. Piss off. <laughs> Because Weinstein, everybody knew about Weinstein, but nobody spoke up. Yeah, but that wasn't even part of his skit. That's just like an introduction to an award. Yeah. <gasps> but that's what, that's what he's saying. He's saying, like, like, you lot, get your fucking mouth shut whilst he was doing this. Oh, my yeah? God. 
and you all know about it. See, he's just yeah. he's just firing bullets at this point. Well, that was that was, ma that was magic. That one, that mm -hmm. was a magic bullet. <laughs> a magical bullet. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. <laughs> no, I watched it mm -hmm. like, years years ago. What was that? Twenty twenty, wasn't it? Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah, and it was twenty twenty three years ago. A couple of years ago. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant though. He is good. Right, go. Cool. Okay. It's all good. Let's bag it. I'll well, use that. Make a video. Make a video. You know what you're talking about now. Mm hmm. Right. Will do. All right, darling. You Thank have a good time. Thanks. Thanks for your help. No worries, love you. Love you, bye. Bye. <gasps> like, I actually can't believe I pulled that off. I was like, he's so going to tell that I'm recording because I felt like it was really obvious. <laughs> I was like, he's going to know. He's gonna No, no. The thing is, right, I really hope you guys can hear him on speakerphone because sometimes, sometimes like, he wasn't talking that loud. But I'm still going to post it anyway because this is my only ever chance. Because if I ever do that again, like, he'll know that I'm, I'm like, probably secretly recording and he won't do it again. So, now... I can finally post a video with my dad, which is so exciting, but I hope you guys found out some new things from my dad. It's nice for me, because it like means that I don't have to be the one talking. It's him. As you can tell, he rambles actually a fair amount more than I do, quite frankly. So I'm not, clearly I get the rambling from my dad, okay? But if you like this video, and if you liked my dad's information, then please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and please turn on the notification bell. Goodbye.